Welcome, let's discuss the surface area of a cylinder. We want to figure out how much area do we need to cover all the sides in the cylinder. Notice that the cylinder can be broken down into three parts. The area of the circle in the top, the area of the circle in the bottom, and the area that covers the side of the cylinder. But how do we find the area of each of those parts individually? Let's break the cylinder and place it in a flat surface. When we break the cylinder into a flat surface, notice that we have three areas. The area of the circle in the base, which is equivalent to the area of the circle in the top, which notice that those two areas are congruent to each other because both of the circles, they have the same radius. And now the area that surrounded the cylinder, notice that it's a rectangle. Where one of the sides of a rectangle, it is the height of the cylinder, but how can we define the other side of this rectangle? Notice that that's the circumference of the circle that we have on the base. Let's visualize that. Let's put it back into a cylinder. And now notice, when we start placing the cylinder back into a flat surface, we got our circle in the top. We got our circle in the bottom. Now notice that the circumference that we have for the circle, when we lay it flat, it's going to be the side of the rectangle that we describe. Now we have defined the surface area of a cylinder. It is equivalent to the addition of the circle that we have on the top and the circle that we have on the bottom, which we have said that they're congruent to each other. And notice that the circle on the bottom, it is the base of the cylinder. So we can say that is two times the area of the base. Plus the rectangle that we had between those circles, which we can define as the lateral area. Which notice there's a rectangle. And to find the area of this rectangle, we're going to multiply the height times the circumference of the circle. Let's take a look at one example. Let's find the surface area of the cylinder. Let's start by finding the area of the base. Notice that the base is a circle, and the area of the circle is pi r squared. And the radius that we need is equivalent to 5. That's equivalent to 25 pi centimeter squared. Let's say that all these measurements are given to us in centimeters. So now, let's find the lateral area. Which we have shown that this is equivalent to the area of a rectangle. Where one side of this rectangle, it is equivalent to the height of the cylinder, which is 8. And the second side of this rectangle, it is equivalent to the circumference of the circle in top. And the circumference of the circle, it is equivalent to 2 pi r, which in this case, we will use the radius of the circle, which is 5, which is equivalent to 10 pi. Now that we have the measurements of both sides of this rectangle, we can find the area of the rectangle, which it will be our lateral area. That will be 8 times 10 pi, which is equivalent to 80 pi centimeters squared. And now we have all the information that was needed, because the area of the base, it is equivalent to 25 pi centimeters. And then we're going to add the lateral area, which we found it to be 80 pi centimeters squared. So let's define the surface area. So let's plug those values. We're going to have 25 pi plus 2 times 80 pi. Let's simplify this. 80 times 2, that's 160. And when we add this value, that's 185 pi. If we want to approximate this in terms of decimals, remember that pi is 3.114. So we can think of this as 185 times 3.14, which is approximately 
238.5 centimeter square. Either answer is fine, this is an exact value, and this is an approximation. Hello, if you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.